From chaos to order, the Gibbs is featuring a one-of-a-kind exhibition that features the Greek geometric period. Well, joining us with more is Dr. Michael Bennett, Senior Curator of Early Western Art at the Museum of Fine Arts St. Petersburg. It's so wonderful to have you. It's great to be here. Wonderful. So, so tell us a bit more about this exhibit. Well, this exhibit was about 30 years in the making. Um, the collector, Saul Rabin, has been putting this, uh, this collection together over many decades. I met him in graduate school many years ago, and he and I and David Mitten, who was my teacher at, at, at Harvard, uh, formed a kind of a group and started thinking and, and, and really carefully about this early period of Greek art in view of the, of the collection that Saul was putting together. So what this exhibition is, is the first time that uh, I think 54 of the 57 pieces on view have been seen by the public. That's and fascinating. They, they have the cumulative effect of kind of redefining what Greek art is at its, at its origin. Well, tell us about that. So you mentioned Greek art, but what is what defines the geometric period? So the geometric period dates from roughly 900 to 700 BC. This is the period that saw the invention of the Greek alphabet, the establishment of the Olympic Games, the Delphi Sanctuary was established during this period, uh, and the, the composition of the Iliad and the Odyssey all took place during this period. Mm. So this is the art, which is the visual counterpart to all of these great events that really you know, stand at the beginnings of what we think of as ancient Greek culture. Wow. And are we talking mostly statuary type art? And what is it made out of? Well, that's the interesting thing, too. The, the exhibition is primarily uh, composed of bronze objects that were dedications at Greek sanctuaries. And that's really important because the gods, it's interesting, the gods preferred bronze over fired clay. That was the appropriate dedicatory uh, object for uh, for the gods at a Greek sanctuary. And so the centerpiece of the exhibition is a unique object in terms of its state of preservation. It's a, it's a ring-handled tripod. It's a, it's a large Greek um, like cauldron in bronze. Of course, it had no utilitarian function. Its symbolic function was much more important than its utilitarian function. Uh, as an object, the interesting thing is, at the Temple of Apollo at Delphi, and this famous, it's the oracle at the Temple of Apollo at Delphi, the priests who foretold the future actually sat on one of these objects, uh, and not for any, just any old reason, because the object itself symbolically represents the connection between heaven and earth oh, wow. at the center of the world, oh. which is what 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 that what that oracle is so when you come into the show you will never be able to see anywhere else in the world a similar object standing on its own legs and and that what i is what i think is so interesting about just Greek mythology, Greek art, is that so much of this world is explained in profound ways, and mm -hmm. it, it gives you the reasoning for everything as it as it exists. You know, it's very symbolic, it's which I, I just love. We're going to direct all of our viewers to the Gibbs Museum website because this is where they can find out how long this ex exhibition is going to be here. And we're really excited. It's going to be off to the next place. So you want to make sure that you uh, capture the moment and come and see this wonderful, wonderful exhibition. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us. Thank you so much. We're back after this.